The streets have a very strong magnetic pull on, on these kids, and I just decided that we have to have a, a magnet in the opposite direction pulling the other way. So that's what Main Street Gym became, was a, a magnet trying to show them a better way, something that they could hold their head up high, something they could do that they didn't have to look over their shoulders all the time, and something they could take real pride in. You know, I, I started just like them, not better, not worse, just the same way, you know, so if I could do it, they could do it. In many cities throughout the country, for years and years and years to combat crime, juvenile delinquency, it was the kind of sport that drew those type of kids to it, even back in the 20s and the Depression. Um, you look at all the old stories of old boxers, most of them were kids that were in trouble. I think I had an attitude problem, so I decided I needed some discipline, so I came to Main Street for discipline and to put my fighting abilities elsewhere. Getting away from the house, getting away from um, the bad environment that they're in, some of the times, man, those kids want to just freaking sleep in the gym. We've also, you know, taken a lot of kids off the street, and, and we've also changed a lot of lives, and we've turned out some good kids from here. The after-school program is something that we developed because in order to be a member of the gym, you have to maintain uh, good grades in school. I got to play A and playing a plan B. First is I'm a box till I turn like 50 and then I'm be a pediatrician. That's why I'm gonna finish school up. Now that we have an after school program, we put school first and then um, then the box. Their grades have gone up in school, their behavior at home is much better, so we've had a lot of positive feedback. Ms. <laughs> Nancy um, is the best teacher I've ever had too. We really have seen a big improvement, and um, so some of the parents, you know, we, we get great feedback from them. His grades used to be D's and E's, and now he's getting A's, B's, and C's. Education is very important. It's not just about being the best boxer. It's also about being a well-rounded person. It teaches my son discipline. It helps him learn how to communicate with other kids because he has disabilities. <laughs> <laughs> Safety in any sport, as far as I'm concerned, really comes from the person running that program. I constantly tell him, remind him, he has to keep his face covered and his head covered with his gloves and his hands at all times, which Coach Howe and all the other coaches teach him as well. Anybody who participates in any contact sport um, is subject to having some, some type of head trauma. <laughs> Research shows very, very emphatically that the younger the head trauma occurs, the more susceptible this person is to have continuous problems. So um, I would think that boxing should be something that should be considered to be done when you're physically mature enough to handle it. From six to eight, they actually work out. They have like a warm up that they go through where they're running and doing different exercises to help keep them nice and limber and, and not get injured. And then they actually either spar, they do speed bags or different things. And then they, of course, they have the cool down to help um, um, cool down their muscles. So, of course, again, not to prevent injury. Coach Hal is actually the best role model and Fernando, as well as Alex, as well as Ryan and Coach Tahir. Um, they're all the best role models my son could ever have. If I need help or anything, I just call him for anything, he will be there for me. You know, that's not his job, but see, we got more than just a boxer and a coach, you know what I mean? We got more than that. He told everybody, don't give up. And he's, he's just a good guy. I like what he do for me because like that I keep learning and learning. And then when I got it, I can buck. <laughs>